Hi friends, welcome back. So today I'm bringing you guys another video and this is going to be a foundation first impressions. Um, I feel like it's been a while since I've done one of these. Maybe I'm lying. I could be lying. I really love doing foundation first impressions. For some reason, foundation is just one of those things that when a new one comes out and it's basically telling me all the claims that I want to hear, I pretty much pick it up every single time. So today's first impressions is going to be on the YSL All Hours Foundation. Mine is in the color B70. This is what it looks like right here. I was so excited to pick this up. I know you guys have seen every single person on YouTube who are raving about this foundation, how it's so matte, it's so full coverage, it's so long lasting, and it's like all these incredible things, everything that you could ever want a foundation to be. So I was like, yeah. So if you guys want to know how I feel or I guess my first impressions on the YSL All Hours Foundation, then please just keep on watching. Okay, so the foundation that we're going to be reviewing today is the All Hours Foundation by YSL. Um, this is what the box looks like. I took it out the box for five seconds just to look at the color and I don't know how it's going to work, but this is the box right here. I got mine in the color B70 Mocha. So what it looks like right here um i believe the color before this was super light i have the ysl fusion ink foundation which i also really really like um and i have mine in the color b65 but i don't believe that there was a b65 in this foundation this color matches me pretty perfectly so i'm hoping that these are Similar. I did purchase mine from Sephora by the way. I do believe that this is available pretty much anywhere that YSL is available. I only know of Sephora and of course the Saint Laurent website and probably like Neiman Marcus and stuff like that. Those more high-end boutiques I think also carry Saint Laurent but I'll link everything down below just in case. This foundation is $58 US and you get 0.84 ounces which I believe is the same amount that you get in the Fusion Ink foundation let me let me check yes 0.84 fluid ounces it's annoying that you don't get a full fluid ounce but i never go through foundations like ever so i'm not that mad about it although it is 58 dollars, so 58 dollars is like for not even a full ounce of foundation it's kind of pricey i'm gonna read what it says it says the coverage is full the skin type that it's good for is normal, combination, and oily. And it says it's a new 24-hour full coverage foundation that instantly blurs pores and fine lines and provides uninterrupted, flawless wear that looks and feels just applied all day. Which, I mean, what else? What else could you ask for? I really hope this color... I'm just gonna... You know, I'm gonna pump it onto my hand just because I'm so scared. It does come with a pump. Once you remove this top... There is a pump, which is good because the Fusion Ink comes with like a little spatula. The Fusion Ink is the only other Saint Laurent foundation that I've ever tried. I've never tried the Touche Cloth that everybody's obsessed with because I have oily AF skin. It's dark. This is the color. Blend it out. It's dark, but it's definitely workable, I think. Yeah, I think I could definitely work with that. I can already tell that it dries really quickly just from me spreading it out on my hand. On the outside portions, it's like drying like immediately to a matte finish, which is good because like I said, the skin is so oily. Before I go in with the foundation, I am of course gonna prime. I have a hot mess behind me. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I just kind of have crap thrown behind me. And I just, I even have a Sephora box. Like. <laughs> I just can't be bothered with it right now. So I'm going to start off by priming the skin. I'm going to first go in with the NYX Angel Veil, which is one of my favorite primers. I'm just going to put this pretty much everywhere all over the skin. I do have a whole bunch of new primers that I want to try. Like, I've been on a face primer kick, but I don't want to try new primers with a new foundation because I'm not, like, how will I know? Now I'm going to go in with the No Problem <laughs> Primer. I, I also hate saying this. I saw this on Jeffree Star's channel, of course. It's by Touch and Soul. I bought mine from Sephora. And I am going to use this to blur out my, my primer. My pores. I could just... Why do you do this to me? This primer is like shockingly inexpensive. It's like $18. I expect when Jeffree Star talks about something for it to be like a trillion dollars. And it's not, and I actually really like the texture of it because it's not like super silicone-y like a lot of pore filling primers are and I hate 
that feeling. So, um, so I'm just going to pump maybe two pumps on the back of my hand. That one pump that I did on my hand earlier looked pretty good. Like it looked like it would cover a lot. So I'm just going to do two pumps and just dot it all over my face like I always do. Oh shit, it's dark. Why? You know what? It looks dark on my face because my face looks butt white all the time. I am going to blend it in with the damp beauty blender. I'm just picking up whatever is left over my hand. Okay, let's see. Oh crap. Yeah, that's dark. But the color before this looks so light, so... I mean, I didn't see the color before this in person. Oh my god, this is just like Laura Mercier. Why? Why does this keep happening to me? I feel like this takes a little bit more, like, love to blend it. Oh my god, I look disgusting. I'm like 86 shades darker than my actual face. You know what? Whatever. First impressions be like this, right? So I don't think that this is full coverage right off the bat. I think it is very lightweight. I feel like it looks crazy right now, but there's no point that I would ever put this much foundation on and then just leave. Do you know what I'm saying? Like I, I would always do a full face makeup after this. So I'm going to see what it looks like once everything is on top of it. Don't judge just yet. <laughs> so far, I do like it. Like I said, I don't think it's full coverage. So I'm a little let down and that. You can probably build it up if you think about it, I also only did two pumps, so who's to say if I went in with like three or four pumps that I wouldn't get like a lot more of a full coverage look. I'm not going to build it up on my skin right now just because this color is so crazy. I don't want to put extra of this color on, if that makes sense, so I'm going to hold off on that. But so far, I do like the way it looks. I think it's probably going to set a little bit more as I finish up the rest of my face. So we're going to see about that. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up my makeup. I feel like I've been talking for three years. And I'm just going to see how everything wore on top, how everything applied on top, how everything blended out on top, yada blah. And then I'll come back and we'll see how everything looks once my entire face is done. I hope it looks a lot better than this. So I'll be right back. I almost forgot to mention, this is like super random. I already moved my camera out of the way so I could actually start doing my makeup. But I forgot to mention that I'm starting my timer from now. I always do this. I don't know why I forgot to mention. Maybe it's been a while. So it's 12.24 p.m. It usually takes me forever to finish up my makeup. That's why I always start the timer from now rather than from when I actually finish my makeup because then I'll be wearing the foundation for like an extra hour and a half. That's like unaccounted for, you know what I'm saying? So we're starting from 12.24. So now I'm actually going to be right back and go to my makeup. As you can see, my hot mess is waiting for me. Okay, so I'm back. The rest of my makeup is on. I pretty much went with something really simple. I didn't, I just wasn't in the mood to do like all these crazy things on my eyes for once in my life. I know, write this down. This is like going down in history. So I have to say I am really liking the way that my skin is looking so far. I did go really ham on blush. But oh well. It definitely did set down a little bit more matte as I continue to do my makeup. Um, but it still looks like a really lively matte. Like it does not look as drying as some of my other matte foundations. So I'm really happy about it. Like I said, so far, so good. It's been about an hour and a half since I was last on here. I definitely took my sweet time when doing my makeup for today's look. For some reason, even though it was so simple. Could have had to do with the fact that I was also watching The Vampire Diaries on Netflix. I'm not sure. So yeah, I'm going to wear this makeup for as long as I possibly can. Like I said, it's only been an hour and a half so far. This is what it looks like. It definitely matches a lot more, in my opinion, right now than it did in the beginning. So I don't think that the color is really too bad. I mean, when it's just a foundation, it looks crazy. But once everything else is on, I really like the way that it looks. So I might just end up keeping it. I might just not even... I just, I'm just gonna keep it. If you've never seen one of my first impressions before, usually what I do is I just keep obviously my makeup on for as long as possible and I do not touch up throughout the day and I usually do one check-in at about four to five hours and then one more check-in at night when I'm ready to take off my entire face just so that you guys can kind of see like in the middle what's going on and then at the end end of the day see like 
like what's up so I am gonna of course do that it's around two o'clock right now so I'll probably try to check in around maybe five o'clock just to see how it's holding up so far and then sometime after that so I will see you guys in a little bit oh, shake. Come here. <laughs> what are you trying to do? <laughs> do you see that spider? Do you see that spider, y'all? <laughs> so it is currently 6.45 p.m. Wait, let me show you. Let me show you. Um, on my way to get Pizza Hut, I feel like I say that in every single first impression like ever I just really like Pizza Hut and so I've been wearing the foundation for a little bit over six hours and so far it looks exactly the same so for somebody with super oily skin to have the exact same this exact same skin as when they applied the foundation six hours later I think that's pretty good so far obviously I'm gonna continue to wear it and see you what it does i do want to say that i did go to sephora to return a couple of things from the fenty beauty line and the cashier asked me if i did my makeup there she said it looked really good so i'm gonna go ahead and say it's the foundation I'm, that's what i'm gonna say I, I don't know but i'm gonna say that's what it is my pregnancy boobs are just like trying to say what's up right now <laughs> i'll show you guys a uh, baby bump thingy -ling later I'll show you guys what it looks like today. Apparently it looks extra large is what Mama Danger said. Anyways, I don't really have much of a check-in because like I said, it looks exactly the same as when it, as when I first applied it. So we're doing good so far. So yeah, so I gotta stay for now. So we'll see how it wears for us today. Adios. If you can or cannot see that, I don't know. This is us, 35 weeks, eight months. How do you think I look for eight months? Like, yeah. Like, Should I go eat my cheese sticks? Cause that's all I got at Pizza Hut. Well, some cheese sticks. Okay, real life. I'm gonna eat my cheese sticks, and I'll check in with you guys in some more hours. Okay, guys. So it's definitely time for this makeup to come off. I am so, so ready. I've been kind of prolonging this for as long as I possibly could, but it is 10:56. You can't even see that. It's basically 11 p.m. right now, which means. I've been wearing this for 10 and a half hours. Um, yeah, and I have some things I wanna say. Honestly, I kinda prolonged this for a reason because I felt like every single time I looked in the mirror, my foundation looked the same as it did in my last check-in, which was pretty good. And still, I wouldn't say it looks the same but it looks pretty damn good for 10 and a half hours of wear. I am like, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty impressed. I just zoomed in to see if you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about by my nose a little bit better. Um, right there, it's super creasy. It's like settling into my nose and like separating a little bit. It's looking a little weird, but pretty much everywhere else, I don't know if you can see that, it's still pretty matte i wouldn't say it's as matte as when i first applied it but it's definitely still matte and it definitely it still looks super wearable you can see all my other face products are still wearing pretty strongly on top i can still see my highlight my blush i can still see my contour i can still see pretty much everything um so that's that's like a really good sign i would i think i am getting a little oily right here though can you guys see that just like a little bit you know what I didn't say? I meant to tell you guys this in the beginning, but obviously I'm a failure, so I didn't. Um, I meant to mention the shade range, which I should have probably mentioned when I noticed how dark this color was on my skin. Um, I do think I am going to keep this color, by the way. It is dark when I first apply it, but I do like the way that it looks now once like everything is on. This is my hand. I'm just trying to show you for reference. I think it does look a lot better. And I don't think it's as drastic of a color issue as the Laura Mercier foundation was for me. So there are 22 shades total in this foundation, which I feel like sounds like 
a lot like oh 22 like that's like a good number but the color that I have B70 mocha is like there's only two colors darker than that it just feels like nothing on the skin and it stayed feeling like nothing on the skin you know how sometimes you wear foundations and throughout the day they start to feel like something is there I don't feel like that at all with this foundation I still if I touch my skin it's like nothing is there so I'm a happy camper just the shade range kind of played me a little bit I would probably give this foundation like an a minus and the only reason it's an a minus and not just like an a or an a plus is because of the color but i feel like it's not that bad to the point where i want to give it like a b so that is it for this first impressions thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did like it don't forget to subscribe if you're not already if you guys plan on picking up this foundation Please let me know. Let me know if you already have it, how you like it. If you are my skin color, let me know if you have the same struggle as myself. I don't think that this is like God's gift to foundations. A lot of YouTubers are like, I feel, I feel hyping it up like more than it should be. But I do really like it and I can't deny that. <laughs> so yes i think that's all i have to say wait i lied to you definitely check the description box if you guys want any information on like any of the products that i'm wearing because obviously i didn't do this face with you guys so if you're curious as to any of the things that are on my face everything is going to be linked down below so definitely don't forget to check down there if you're interested and now i really think that's all i have to say so i'll see you guys in my next video bye